tourism as the driver and catalyst to accelerate growth for the service sector. Key result areas or KRA 3. Acknowledging the important contribu contribution of tourism sectors to the economy of the state through the service sector, the government through the social economic transformation program has approved 14 key result areas, projects and programs early this year worth Ringgit Malaysia 51 million. Out of 14 projects and programs, two are already been has already been completed. Ten works are in progress and two are in preliminary stage. A total of Ringgit Malaysia 11.3 million has been spent in 2017, while the balance will be utilized in 2018 and 2019. These KRA projects and program comprises of the following. Upgrading of tourism infrastructure and facilities at Wind Cave, Ferry Cave, Kuching Waterfront areas and Kuching Heritage Trails. Upgrading work to the JT near Santubong Bridge to cater for the Ramsar site, visitors, anglers as well as divers. B. Development of new tourism products and attractions, namely the conversion of the Brook Dockyard into a maritime museum, the construction of a walkway in front of the new Dun building to connect the pedestrian bridge which was recently officiated from Fort Margarita, conversion of the old Dun building into a center of performing art, construction of a gold mine museum and park in Bau, and the conversion of the old resident office in Mary into a cultural and heritage center. Most of these projects are expected to be completed by the end of 2018. Other, other than projects under the KRAs, ongoing and approved new tourism projects under the 11 Malaysia plan being implemented by my ministry include state-funded projects with a total allocation of Ringgit Malaysia 26.5 million Ringgit comprised of the Dalat Phase 2 waterfront project, the walkway leading from Kampung Boyan to Fort Margarita in Kuching, upgrading of North Yusang Road, or popularly known as the Wireless Walk in Miri, development of tourism facilities at Bakam Point, the upgrading of ICQs, Sungai Tujo, and tourism related facilities at Tusan Beach, Pliao, Bekenu. Federal funded projects implemented under the second rolling plan of the 11 Malaysia plan by the Minister of Tourism and Culture Malaysia with an allocation of 28.12 million comprising the con construction of walkway and jetty at the Kuching wetland or Ramsar site, the construction of Baram waterfront in Marudi, upgrading work at Pancho Hot Spring in Sirian and the construction of a baru at Kampung Gumbang in Bau. Tuan Speaker, ecotourism and local community participation. Culture, adventure and nature, or in short, CAN, C-A-N, are Sarawak's unique and strong selling points in as far as product segment and experience is concerned. My ministry priority is to ensure that the tourism facilities and sectors and services in our national park be upgraded and properly maintained to ensure best seek comfort and safety to our visitors. At the same time, my ministry is encouraging more local communities to be involved in community-based ecotourism, or CBED, through the homestays, homestay program as nature guides, as transport providers, as food handlers, as well as local craft producers, national parks. The national parks continue, continue to be the most preferred destination for ecotourists, both domestic and foreign, because of its diverse biodiversity, beautiful and unique landscape and wildlife varieties. As of September 2017, National Park recorded 462,361 visitors arrival where 102,051 are foreigners and 360,310 are locals. 
for the same period in September 2016, national parks recorded 422,485 total visitors, where or which comprised 94,263 foreigners and 328,223 locals or domestic visitors. This indicates a positive growth of 8.6% in total visitors' arrival to the national parks. National parks that recorded the highest number of visitors are Semango Wildlife Centre, Bako National Park, Matang Wildlife Centre, Nia National Park and Gunong Mulu National Park. Semango Wildlife Centre is the first national park in Sarawak to be given the recognition under the Malaysia Tourism Quality Assurance or MYTQA in 2016 under the Nature and Adventure category. MYTQA is a recognition established by the Ministry of Tourism and Culture Malaysia to ensure compliance with certain sets of standards and quality for any given product. Such recognition will give tourists more confidence towards that product. The recognition is valid for a period of three years from 2017 until 2020. Lambert Hill National Park, Miri, has also recently been awarded the Certificate of Excellence 2017 by Trip Advisor. This award was based on opinions from the tourists on the quality of service and other aspects of Lambert Hill National Park.